Stephen was amazing from day one. I really felt that I had a connection with him as if I'd known him. There was something about him that I felt I'd known my whole life. I had an instinct about her that she could do, you know, any of the comedy in the movie and all the drama in the movie, and she just hits it out of the park, man. You're really going? I'm really going. I definitely felt that I could relate to Ali as a whole in having this dream. Who does a girl have to flirt with around here to get from here to up there? Getting a chance, being denied because it took a few times before someone bit um, and I finally got my record deal and my big break. If you just give me a chance, I... Let me... All right, God, you got the job. I was surprised that she hadn't made a film before, but then I also thought what a good idea it is to have waited to find a role that's really so suited to you and sort of shows off all your talents. Thank you, Tess. You won't regret it. I really wanted to give myself to Ali. I don't have anyone. Hmm? No, uh, no parents? No one. And I really wanted to be vulnerable to my character, and I really wanted to believe I was Ali and what makes her tick and what are our similarities that I can draw upon from my own past. What do you want, Ali? In life. And why should I tell you? There's a first time where the tendency is to overact and she wasn't doing any of that. And she didn't want to do any of that. It didn't feel natural to her. Me and my mom on my seventh birthday. She died a few weeks later. I must miss her. I've had a pretty interesting background myself, um, having spoken about a lot of, you know, the domestic violence that would happen in my home. So it was really difficult for me sometimes to tap into those painful places from my past. Um, but I did it for some of my more emotional scenes. What is your problem? You're acting like a total prick. Is there something you want to say? It was kind of an exciting journey to see her go from, to see how she was on the first day uh, to where she is now, because you could kind of see her grow into like a solid actress. So me was over. No, 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 get out of here. Allie, Allie, please, come here. What, Jack? I am sorry. So am I. We have a few scenes together, but they're all really important. They're all really pivotal. You're gonna Other hear you, me out. I don't wanna hear you out. Do you ever listen to anything other than the sound of your own voice? It definitely took a toll on me. It was draining, but well worth it in the end. Talk. Cher just walks into the room and brings it. You never told me you could sing like that. What? She really approached me from day one with open arms, and that meant the world to me. Maybe you could learn from my mistakes. It was huge that uh, I got the support that I did from her. All right, here. Let me help you. First of all, you gotta wet it if you're gonna get a clean line. I start to try to talk to her about, it's not about makeup, it's about dreams. You know, you won't be the new girl forever. I think it's a real woman's moment, you know, because it, it's relating in a way that only women relate to one another. You have many lovely qualities, and then you have some iffy qualities. She brings something into the room with her that's that's intoxicating. You're gonna get keys, and I'm gonna go up and write a completely new show. <laughs> Thank you, Ted. It's beautiful. We're all really fabulous. I'm amazing. Is that really what's best for me, or what's best for you? I don't know. I hope it's best for both of us. She's been up and she's been down, and you know, she's had good times and bad times, and it's been very tough for her, so I knew that she would relate to this character in this world. It's just fun. It should take you out of your problems and troubles. It's a fabulous popcorn movie. Since when did you know anything about loyalty? How many goddamn times have I peeled you off the sidewalk? How many blackouts? How many times have I held your head over the toilet bowl while you threw off everything but your memories? <gasps> They're both so down to earth, which I hate to say is surprising, but it was. You, you don't know what kind of personality someone's gonna have when they're that iconic. No, I don't think so. Allie? But they're both lovely and so much fun to work with and so blunt and just kind of easy to be around and it's, it's become like a really nice family. How do you feel? Amazing, it Same. feels fantastic. Well, I haven't made a movie for almost two years with the exception of Easy A. Slut. I heard that. So sorry, I had no idea. <laughs> oh. I thought this was a really charming film and 
Cher and Christina Aguilera were also a very attractive duo. What is she doing? I think she's auditioning. It doesn't matter what you ask him to do or what you ask him to say or what he does on film, it's so real. Why did you say that? What do you mean, why did I say that? Because it's the truth. Taz is not a judgment, it's the truth. All the actors have such a great respect for him as soon as he walks into the room and, you know, he kind of takes charge, you know? Well, it's your lucky day. Welcome to L.A. Cam Gigande is an interesting, interesting guy. Question is, do you have the talent? I do. Good, because you're on. This is my first romantic lead. I was happy I didn't have to sing or dance, but I did have to show some skin, which is, you know, part of the uh, part of the game. Well, I never. They will definitely see another side, a side not many people have seen. Yikes. He has that very special thing that he's funny. Want a cookie? Hmm? No? <laughs> he's absurdly beautiful. <laughs> I never should have let you walk out that door. And he's a fine actor. See that strip mall down there? You own that too? <sighs> no, I'm everything above it. There is nothing above it. Exactly. Playing a character like this, you walk a fine line, you know, you can end up being that, like, you know, villainous sort of antagonist. When I see something I like, I have to have it. Been that way since I was a kid. I don't want him to be that guy. I sort of tried to play against those beats. It's a win-win situation for everyone. It's business, baby, not personal. Eric brought him to life. He did, he did a nice job. Clearly, one of us has underestimated the other. I thought it was a really nice challenge and to be able to play uh, a bitchy girl. Did your mama ever tell you it's not polite to stare? But also keep her slightly lighthearted and, and still a little bit funny so you didn't downright hate her. No one would ever know. Know what? That you're a dude. <laughs> Since that scene, I have been absolutely convinced that with makeup, I look like a drag queen. It's really ruined my self-confidence, I think. Can I use this? Don't touch my stuff. I literally started dancing, singing, and acting all at the same time growing up in Utah and actually moved to London and went to performing arts school there too from when I was 10 to 15. Just fell in love with her. You know, I just thought she was somebody really special. I love Steve. Steve and Anton is phenomenal. You always feel so beautiful when you're around him because he makes you feel that way and he understands women. Burlesque is about female empowerment, and that's why Christina loves and lives the role. That's why Cher loves and lives the role. That's why, you know, Kristen Bell and Juliana Huff and all of these women, because this is women who are at the top of their game. And don't ever <laughs> call me ma'am again. It's a type of woman that Christina and Cher love, respect, and are. I'm gonna go get dressed for the show. Okay. Thank you, Mary. Hey, stay with me for more on rom-com movies. Now, Pretty Woman was originally much darker, titled 3000, and wasn't a love story, and it didn't have a happy ending. Instead of a rom-com about two very different people finding love, it was a grittier tale about two damaged individuals who spend a week together that ends in tears and zero hope for a balcony set reunion. Mm. Now, click here below to subscribe and tap the bell to always receive the latest trailers.